Alright guys, I'm actually going to do a, a special series of Gomer Plays videos. I'm actually going to go through the first six Mega Man games for the NES. Uh, starting with Mega Man, of course. Here we go. And, um, well, the reason why I'm actually wanting to do these is I did something similar last year where uh, I took some time. I actually live streamed it. Or was it you streamed? And um, I went through the first six Mega Man games all in one go in hopes of like raising some money you know, for like equipment or whatever. I don't even remember exactly what it was. I was fundraising at this point. But that, that while it was fun, and there was at least one person kind of following me all the way through, I didn't raise any money. But now that I'm actually doing these Gomer Play segments or whatever, you know, I figured, you know, why not give it another shot and just do them as Gomer Play segments. Here we go. So, um, so yes, we have Mega Man. The first of many, 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 many more Mega Man games to come. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, yeah. And, oh, ow. Assholes. Ow. Stupid, stupid wall beaks or whatever. Oh, uh, well. Um, I was actually trying, um, oh, yeah, Sniper Joe. Sniper Joe. Uh, Sniper Joe. Sniper Joe. Sniper Joe. Sniper Joe. Come on. Come on. There you go. Yeah. Alrighty. So, um, so yeah, so Mega Man, yay! Uh, the Blue Bomber, the Blue Bomber. Oh look, one up. And as you notice, I'm starting with Bomb Man first. I know it's, I'm not, I'm like halfway through the level, and it's like I started with Bomb Man first. <laughs> uh, but um, and I, I know, and, it, and pretty much you could take them on in any order you want. I mean, that's one of the whole points of the game is to be able to do this in any order you want. And uh, as I continually run away from exploding, flying, bullet bill, rip, bullet bill cousins, you know, and, and all that, yay. Uh, and, and whoop, there you go. And this is one of the few games that, a few Mega Man games, rather, that has, you know, I think this is the only one that really has a score in addition to um, the spikes insta-killing you no matter what, even if um, you're flashing. You know, if, even if you have the, uh, yeah, fuck you, I'm going through. Yeah. And, yeah, the insta-kill spikes, even if you have uh, the uh, invulnerability. Woo, yeah, look at that. And jump down and right into Bomb Man's lair. Why did you turn the other way, Mega Man? That was stupid. I mean, what, what, what? What, what do you want him to get you from behind? Do you want him to take you from behind, dude? I didn't know you were like that, man. And of course, Bomb Man. Ah, what do you what do you think you are? What do you think this is, Super Mario Brothers? Come on, don't jump on my head. Oh, <laughs> that that's one of those instances where I could probably still be killed, but I wasn't, obviously. That was cool though. Yay! And I get a hundred thousand points for beating Bomb Man. That's pretty awesome, man. That is pretty awesome. Okay, let's see. After him, we go for Guts Man. <laughs> Gutsman's level, the bane of many a Mega Man player's existence, I'm assuming. Ah, uh, I know it was the bane of existence for uh, the guy who did uh, Bob and George, Dave Anes. He, 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 he hated this level. <laughs> and I think to this day, I don't know if he's went back and been able to do it, but he had not been able to do it as of the last episode of, uh, well, the last comic of uh, Bob and George. So, um, yeah, these little platforms, they're actually not that hard if you pay attention. But if you're not paying attention, you're going to go falling very fast and very hard to doom to your death. <laughs> uh, speaking of Mega Man, uh, I'm sure everybody who's watched this has probably seen that live-action uh, fan-made Mega Man movie. I honestly, I liked it. I mean, there were some parts that were kind of cheesy, obviously, but you know, overall, I loved it. So, and oh, these guys! Eee! Yay! They're all—they're so picky. Uh, that was a really, really horrible pun. Ow. Yeah. Uh, pick them off. Pick you off. Come here. There you go. Yay. And of course, oh yay. We. Oh, let's see. Oh, these guys. These guys are so much fun. They're about as much fun as as herpes. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I, just, I don't know where herpes came from. This is actually one of the few games where when the shots, you know, dink off, 
they don't really plink off and go off anywhere. Oh, wrong button. I need this one. There you go. Yay! Hmm, color looks a little off. Weird. Maybe it's just the TV or something. I don't know. Boom, boom, boom. Blow him up, blow him up, blow him up. And... Oh. And yes, I know the whole, you know, the pausing trick or whatever. And I can use it... I can use it on pretty much any boss that I want. I just elected not to for this one. Um, and yes, you can even use it when you're throwing the blocks at Cutman. Hmm. Speaking of which, he's next. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. See, I'm just kind of breezing through. Yay. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and all these blocks. And get on the ladder. What are you? What's wrong with you? Uh, yeah, the bun bees and the boon bees and the harries and the blah. Whatever the hell they're called. You know. Ow. Direct hit. Die. There you go. Big weapons energy capsule that I have absolutely no use for. We ow. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you too. Meh. Nah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. So um. So yeah. Ah oh, man. Just uh. Actually, I think as of today, there's like exactly two weeks before we open Arsenic and Old Lace down here. Which is the play I've been working on just for the past uh, six or so weeks, been in rehearsals for and everything, and it's a fun show. Um, if you're around here, you should actually you should come see it because I'm working with a very talented cast and and a really great director who's been a friend who's a friend of mine I met in college, and um, it's it's really fun. You know, if you have a chance, come see it. You know. <laughs> Yes, I, I'm, I'm using a Gomer Place video to, to kind of promote a play, <laughs> you know, that most people probably be like, man, I'm not in your area. Yeah, but, you know, there are some people that might be, who knows. And, you know, you never know. Oh, man. But, um, let's see. Yeah, okay. Octopus batteries, as I've heard them be called. Those guys are me. They're meh. And come here. Come on. Come on down. And you go on over. Come on. Thank you. Whoop. Bye bye. Bye bye. And zoom, foom, 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 ho, 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 ho. And they just keep on coming back for more. Ah oh, man. Ah oh, so um. So let's see. I I actually today got to see uh, the movie Hairspray for the first time. I'm actually going to do a review of it, and um, it's part of a collaboration project put together by uh, Diamanda Hagen over on the That Guy with the Glasses forums. And for those of you who have never seen her reviews or whatever, she is actually really, really entertaining. Um, you know, she covers she covers more of the horror and violent genres. I think she even covered a Nazi exploitation movie once, and it was like, wow. You know, she's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it was she who put this together. And what we did was, there was like about 10 of us, 10 or 11 of us, who put in our names, put in a movie. And um, she took the movies, she gave us numbers and put the movies all somewhere else. You know, and pretty much drew them out of a hat and whatever movie was matched up to with whatever number was, you know, who's going to review it, you know. My in my input was uh, Grease 2, because I knew somebody would end up getting it, and they would probably scream for the heavens over it. And it was true. Yeah, somebody else got Grease 2, and I got stuck with Hairspray. And I watched it today, and my initial thoughts on it are, it's not too bad of a movie, actually. Um, I mean, there's a reason why it's been made into a musical, and then the musical's been remade into yet another movie. So it's, it's actually a good... It's actually a good movie if you want to sit down and watch it. Um, but as for reviewing it, that's going to be something fun. I want to try and have it done maybe by show week. That way I could just release that during the week. That way there'll be something there. Maybe. If I can get it done in time. Hopefully. Uh, but um, 
But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like a third of the way done with the review, so you know, I've watched it. Now I gotta rewatch it and do the note taking and everything and all of that, and then actually record it. Which includes which includes uh, crossover with uh, which. If you actually look at the thread, it's not going to be really much of a secret, but it is going to have a crossover with Yamada Hagen. And um, I like I like how our characters are going to end up interacting in this because it's like yeah, whatever, <laughs> you know. But um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's it, it's going to prove to be fun. We oh, yeah, are disappearing, reappearing blocks. We oh no 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 oh. Oh, that was so bad of me. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was horrible. Oh ho 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 ho. Just Oh. And it's it's amazing that Mega Man can fall from these high places and not end up like in a scrap heap or whatever. Oh man, that was so horrible. <laughs> oh, uh, but this isn't so bad. So, do, do, do. There you go. And we're up the ladder. Yay! Open air. Ah, smell that fresh air. Wait, he's Mega Man. He can't breathe like that. Damn it. Ah, but that's okay. Ah, uh, so luckily there'll be no other big falls like that, right? 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 <laughs> Ow! That hurt you. That hurt you, ass licker. <laughs> Why do we have some of the insults we have, anyways? Why is ass licker an insult? I mean, is it really that? Okay, I was about to ask a really, really, really stupid and possibly disturbing question. So I'm going to just say yes and go on and get the magnet beam. <laughs> there you go. Oh man. But yes, the absolute the magnet beam is absolutely required in order to finish this game. Yay, one up. We oh yay, we okay. Uh so um So okay, I got my Yahoo open and my girlfriend just well my, not my girlfriend but my ex girlfriend rather, excuse me. I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, she sent me the following. She sent me the quote, "I'm in your ass, saving your life," and she sent me a link. I, I, I'm, I'm just. Uh, <laughs> and she said, uh, "No good book could ever inspire that sentence." So, um, but yeah, she's she's actually cool. The only reason, actually, the only reason we really had broken up because she's one of those exes that I still get along really well with. The only reason we're not together is. Pretty much distance. Um, we're just, you know, it's just too far, and you know, she's busy with her things. I'm too busy with my things, so it's like, you know, it doesn't really work out for a relationship thing. So, you know, we decided, you know, we'll just be really good friends, um, which which worked out, which has so far been working out all right. So, um, so yeah, a little a little bit of personal history of me now that you know. <laughs> oh man, but um. But yeah, um, let's see. I had to transition from that. Oh look, a Lech man. Here we go. He is like a badass motherfucker. He is a badass. He is. And he's gonna shoot me in the back. What an asshole. Oh! See, that is why he's a badass motherfucker. Do you see how much power he took off of me? Yes, you did. Oh my god. That is what you call one badass motherfucker. So I'm gonna go ahead and have the rolling cutter there. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what Mega Man's problem is. I guess Doctor Light didn't insulate him enough to withstand a thunder beam. You know. I mean, just shit. And I will admit, I can I can use the select trick here if I want to. Um, I was actually thinking about it, but I pressed the wrong button in time. Oh, and he's shooting that shit in the air. Oh, ow. But, I cut him down. Yeah, cut! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, man. So, let's see. Oh, man. 
had drinks to pop there, sorry guys. Oh, let's see, we got what about 15 minutes in. And, well, you know what, I think, uh, depending on how fast I can get through this stage and the next stage, I might just, you know, do this, do these in one segment, all six bosses in one segment, and then split it off at the start of Dr. Wily's Castle for this one. So, it'll be, it'll be kind of cool. Um, and here we go, water. Water has a def definitely has a different property here than it does in other Mega Man games. So, and, and, and it's definitely an interesting, interesting uh, note between this game and other Mega Man games. Oh, we Hey, Spikey. Spike dude. Yeah, you, you freeze. Um, <laughs> which, is, which is a weird thing to say when you're actually in Iceman's level. And... And that's another question of video game physics that I have to wonder. When you jump straight up, you stop. No matter if you know if you're on ice, that is, that is so weird. Why is it like that? I wonder. You know. Okay, you die, and I'm gonna be lazy. And whoop, and boom. Ow. Okay, there we go. Now then. And do go across these. Ow! Bastards! You bastards! Ah! Now I have to take the blocks. Yeah, way to go me. Oh, well. So let's see. Come on. Oh, come on, really? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, damn it. Okay, come on. Two. Ah. Damn it, man. Yeah, these disappearing, reappearing blocks. Bane of Mega Man everywhere. And are these also. S yeah, they're. Well, maybe they are. I don't know. Ah, man. So, yes, I'm going to sort of cheat my way through this one, too. You know, use the magnet beam. Um, yeah. Ah, miss. Come on, give me something I can work with, asshole. Do, do, do. My phone is screaming. My phone is whistling at me. Aw, oh, man. Okay, so... We got this here. And whoop, up, 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 and up and over, and yay. And I have no magnet beam. This is going to be fun. Because I have these footholders here. And they like to be bitches. And they like to do things to me. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay. Whoop, up, up, over. Oh, okay. And. Magnet beam power up! Yay! Ooh, that was close. Now, let's see if I can get to the... Nope, no one up. But I will get the magnet beam powered up a little bit more, just in case. Yay! And we're going to drop down. Guess what we're going to see? Guess what we're going to see? You want to know what we're going to see? We're going to see yet another one of these assholes. But I just run under them. Ha ha. Sucks to be you. And... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, wow, we're coming up on 20 minutes. Uh, but then again, if I hadn't been fooling around like I have, I probably could have made it sooner. Okay. So we're going to finish off Iceman, and then we're going to go and split it into the next segment here. So, um... Ooh, I feel like I want to burp, but it doesn't want to burp. Ooh. Oh. One, two, and... Three, kaboom! Goodbye, Iceman. So, <clears throat> oh man. So we got Iceman. We got five of the Robot Masters defeated, and we're coming up on the 20-minute mark. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off here, and then we're gonna go on to the next segment. 
So, until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. And remember, don't let Bomb Man behind you. <laughs>